السلام عليكم اليوم نحن في مسجد هاكنساك نيو جيرزي بالولايات المتحدة الأمريكية ننقل لكم أجواء رمضان شكرا جزيلا قالت رب من لي عندك بيتا في الجنة والجنة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبيه الكريم وعلى آله الطيبين وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته First off we want to thank all of you for your contributions and your donations yesterday for the Masjid may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you all. Jazakum Allah khairan, Jazakum Allah khairan, Mubarak Allah fiqa. Secondly, uh, also thank you, sister, where's the brother she have you? This is your uh, niece, your niece. Shu is in Allah. Tamina. Nina. Nina. Nina, Sister Nina is with us here in the masjid. This is the niece of Brother Shihab. May Allah bless both of them. She <laughs> donated $5,000 for the masjid, for the project of the masjid. Takbir. Jazakifahu khairan ya ukhut Nina. Mubarak Allahu feeki. Wa taqabbar Allahu minki. Nasa'u Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yamunna alayna wa alayki bil qabool. والعفو والعافية والمغفرة والرحمة والبارك لك في مالك وفي رزقك وفي عيالك وجزاك الله خيرا أخي شهاب إخواني we go back to this hadith of our beloved Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم which I mentioned before when we spoke about عقوق الوالدين عقوق الوالدين to disrespect your parents and there was one thing that we didn't talk about in that hadith. In that hadith, the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam spoke of Akbar al-Kaba'ir. Akbar al-Kaba'ir, the greatest of the major sins, he mentioned along with al-Ishraq billah, al-Shirk. He mentioned along with that, Aquq al-Walidayn, disrespecting and disobeying and being undutiful to your parents. He mentioned something. عقوق الوالدين and then the Nabi عليه الصلاة والسلام said he was actually the Nabi عليه الصلاة والسلام was when he spoke the 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 first two he was lying down صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم then he sits right was lying down he changes his position and he sits now and he says ألا وقول الزور ألا وشهادة الزور ألا وقول الزور ألا وشهادة الزور he kept saying this phrase about شهادة الزور شهادة الزور means false bearing false witness bearing false testimony he kept saying that and he went on Till the Sahaba radiallahu anhu said later who said later who said the Sahaba said we wish he stopped you know why shafaqatan ala al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam out of shafaqa ala al-Nabi for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam shafaqa means Sahaba felt sorrow they were sad they were sorry when they saw the Prophet ﷺ repeating this statement about false testimony over and over and over again without stopping. They felt sad. They felt sorry. They, 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 they noticed that Prophet is, is distressed. Yahwan in the Prophet ﷺ getting distressed because of how serious, how grave, how terrible Shahada Tazur bearing false witness is. Ikhwani, this is so because we know that a judgment in the court, a judgment 
based on false witness, could destroy somebody's life. See how serious that is. If it doesn't destroy his or her life, it may cause their property to be to be taken from them, something of their rights to be taken unlawfully from them. Shahada al-Zul. When you tell a lie, when you say, when you lie about or misrepresent the truth about a person, an individual, Muslim or or non-Muslim, even if he is an enemy, you cannot make false statement about anybody. This is jihad al zur This is awl al zur This is of the gravest of sins. Min akbar al kabair. Ya akhi, this false statement that you may you are making against somebody, false, may damage his reputation. Sahulah. May destroy his his name. May broke families. False dis. False, false slander. Slander is a form, another example of false statement, right? Slander. They break marriages and destroy lives. See, Khwan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this. Never ever misrepresent the truth about anything, about an organization. When you say, well, this, uh, this masjid's board is doing so and so. False, or this organization falsely accusing them of something you have no evidence for. That's false statement. When you say this sheikh or this uh, this X or Y, if you don't have evidence, don't make that statement. This statement may, maybe, if it's a qawl al-zur, if it's a qawl al-zur, it's of akbar al-kabar, ya akhi, ya akhi, taqillah. Taqillah, nasallallahu al-afi, wa s-salam, wa sallallahu al-afi, wa s-salam, wa sallallahu wa sallam, wa baraka ala muhammadin wa alihi, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa jazakum wa khairan.